I feel discriminated. I see it everywhere. I see it at the, at the hospital. I see it at court. I see it in the legal system. Wherever you go, it's still so many people who doesn't know that we are human beings. And doesn't matter the color of your skin, doesn't matter the language that you speak. We have to have respect for each other. I just, I just, I just can't understand that in the United States there's still people that think um, that are so egocentric and so, I don't know if there's a word, but nation-centric, that they can't accept people from other cultures or other um, countries. Um, injustice, racism, bullying, I like bullies. Angry, well, I don't really want to talk about politics, but politics can tend to, to, to make me angry, but injustice and uh, discrimination w w are things that would make me angry. Yeah, right now, you know, um, what's going on with the black people and how racist people can be towards biracial kids and black, that really make me angry since my kids are biracial, that just make me so mad that people would judge them because they're biracial and not because of who they are. That really make me sad and angry. Kids being hungry and kids not having the opportunity. Um, white privilege makes me angry. It's really annoying. You just want to go out and scream at them and say, how, what, what gives you the right that because you were born in a different place, um, think you can judge me uh, because I was born in Colombia. It's almost like when you see this, you're like, again, it's happening so often that at the end you're like, can you just stop? Well, I have, this, uh, I have experienced discrimination many times. Um, I am gonna say like first in my work. Uh, where I work, I can hear customers um, uh, doing like bad comments about Mexicans, um, especially since we work. Uh, like one of my coworkers at the bank is from Mexico. Yeah, makes me angry. Uh, the first thing is like I'm really angry for the like my country because about the like if my country were good, you know, we don't have to come to the United States. And then, but I really angry about that right now. So United States is my home and like my safe place. So now I try to control myself and the like, and it's not it's not make me angry anymore. There is many things that I'm grateful for, and, and, but the first one is that I came here to the U.S. Because being here, uh, I can be who I really am. There is a lot of things that I'm grateful for. I mean, I'm grateful that uh, uh, I've met, met my wife. I'm grateful for a very, very supportive husband and two young children. Uh, to have a family, a beautiful family. For my daughter, she's just, she's nine years old. She's really smart, she loves school. She's a good girl. <laughs> I'm grateful for my health. <laughs> I'm grateful that uh, so far I've been uh, in good health. And to have the opportunity to be here, to go to college, because I had a, I was, I was my dream to go to college here, and I, I made it. <laughs> my life because my life and because I'm here um, I think if I were right now in Mexico I think I believe that I, I wouldn't be alive right now and I'm think thankful to be here because now I can keep studying and I think I can change my my future